Hi guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I'm Zoe. Now today's video, I'm gonna make a cake for 40th birthday. I've got a surprise 40th to go to tomorrow and I thought it'd be a nice idea to take a cake with me. So it's Friday night now and I have to make it for tomorrow night. So I want to make something that's quick and easy. Also, I've just finished filming two other YouTube videos where I've used a lot of green, a lot of green uh, buttercream and ganache. So I thought it would be good to use my leftover bits and pieces from the ones I've just made on this new cake. So I think he likes fishing. So I'm gonna go for fish ink themed kind of. We'll see how it turns out. It's gotta be fast. And you can just about see, I think in the background uh, what I've been making. Those videos will already be online as well. So they're, they're the old ones. Let's get started. Let's start with the bits that need to dry. So I'm gonna do these bits first. We're gonna use some Vietnamese rice paper for this and it, it does need to be the Vietnamese rice paper. I've just put some water in a bowl. Just doing these first so that they've got time to dry before I need to take my cake tomorrow. So there just needs to be enough water that you can just dip this in here. And you will notice I've got green fingernails. That is because I actually did a couple earlier just to try them out, see if it worked okay for me. So I'm gonna color them using some sugar flare colors. You don't really want um, the oil-based ones. So the ones that you're gonna use for modeling chocolate chocolate they're not ideal these ones are gel ones they're going to mix better with the water and you can mix two different colors together i've used a khaki and a spruce green and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and lay it out on some scrunched up grease proof paper so that it's not laying flat and i want it to kind of like twist and bend a little bit fold a little bit you can just color the water with the color rather than painting it on like I am doing, but I just found it stained better if I painted it on. You can even paint more on when you've got it sort of on your board waiting. Just make sure you're putting it on to something that it's not going to stick sort of tightly onto. This one I've gone a bit darker with. This is just a plastic cutting board I've put it on. And when they're dry, so this has now been overnight, guys, when they're dry, or almost dry if you need to push a cocktail stick in the side you can push a cocktail stick in also you can see this one that's already fully dried the stick is set in you can see it's quite transparent so i didn't use as much food color on that one i'm just using some serotino modeling paste and i'm just going to dye it green again i've got the mix of the spruce green and the khaki green together and what i'm going to do is roll it into kind of a teardrop shape and then we're going to curve it round a little bit like this flattening it slightly because it's going to sit on the side of the cake I'm going to put in the gill with my knife, a little indentation in for the eyeball. Apologies for the background noise, guys. <clears throat> also, I'm losing my voice. Um, I'm having quite a bit of work done at home, so the builders are just um, cutting through some stones. I don't know how much you can hear that in the video. Okay, so we're going to work on some lips and a smile. Anywhere that's a bit too big, you can trim a bit of that modeling paste off. And then I'm going to put some scales in. These particular tools I'm using are the, um, I think they're called nail tools or something they're for making fingernails basically let's fill the eye with a piece of white and then i'm just using a black edible pen to draw the pupil on there now for the fins i've just rolled thin some modeling paste and then i've used a kebab skewer to kind of push in little indentations and then i've cut the fins to the size that i want and i'm just pressing them against the fish so the fish isn't too too thick it's, it's fairly flat so that it's not too heavy to fit on the side of my cake I'm going to make some more little fins. Are they, are they called fins on the side and the top? I don't know. So we're going to stick these in place on here. Again, apologies for any background noise if you can hear that, guys. So we're going for cartoony with this one rather than realistic. I'm just putting a piece of paste just behind that fin just to hold it up while it dries. We'll put one on for the tail and a little one there. Let's just cut that to shape. And then I'm just using the balling tool to just thin it out a bit more. And I'm going to use this sort of it's kind of like pearlized shell nacre i might be saying it wrong again i'll put links below the video guys to um, where you can get hold of this i'm just putting it on to give it a slight sheen so this is just the same colors that i used for doing like the, the vietnamese rice paper stuff with and i'm using the khaki green one i've just diluted it with some dipping solution or you can use clear alcohol you can actually use water as well with this it just takes a bit longer to dry i've tried to make it fairly transparent so it's quite watered down and then for the darker sort of stripy bits and the bits that I'm darkening, I'm using the spruce green for those bits. Just dabbing it on with my paintbrush so it's less diluted, these ones, so that it's a little bit darker in colour. Just sort of wave it over the fins a little bit so that you're catching some colour on it, but you're not fully colouring it in a solid block colour, if that makes sense, guys. 
I'm also going to use a bit of powder color on here as well. So I've got a gold. I think this one's one of the fractal golds. I'll find links below. I'll put them in for you guys. So just a light dusting of that just to make it a bit more metallic -y. And then at the end of the fins, I'm going to go with a bit of orange and red. And I did look up different types of fish and I've forgotten what kind of fish it is. Is it a perch? I can't remember. I probably told you the wrong thing. <laughs> but I was looking up images of fish for what colours it should be and what it should kind of look like. Although obviously mine is quite a bit more cartoony. And you can also add some of these colours and powders to those little sail things that we made earlier. But leave those all to one side to dry and then we're going to work on the cake. So I've got some vanilla and some chocolate cake. So I've sliced them fairly thin. And with my buttercream, I've just coloured them with the colour mill for this one. I'll put links below so you can see which colours I've used. Now, I meant to put some crisp pearls between every layer and I forgot till I got part way up. So I was going to do some layers with the caramel ones and then some with the dark chocolate ones. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of these on that buttercream and then keep layering up. I wish I'd remembered to do it earlier. So it's just some of the layers have got it in rather than every layer like I planned. And then in some of the others, I've also put some chocolate chips as well. These are just the Calibo chocolate chips that I've put in there. Now I've gone fairly tall with this one guys. I'm just trying to sort of scrape off any extra buttercream. And because it's sliding about a bit, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dowel in the middle to stop those sliding from side to side. You can, if you're going tall like this one, you can even put a cake card in between the layers or halfway up the cake and dowel the bottom half to make sure the cake doesn't sink. Once I've done that, I put it in the fridge and then I'm going to cover the whole thing in ganache. Now, I realize my ganache that I've got here does look like my buttercream, but it is ganache on the outside and buttercream on the inside. I've just used the same color. So I've used that olive green um, color mill to do that. And we're just scraping around. I've not worried about getting it really neat, but I have put it in the fridge to firm it up because there's a lot of layers that it has to hold in nice and tight. I'm going to flick some gold powder on the edges. I kind of flick this everywhere. It didn't show up a huge amount. Also some bronze. I'm just adding a bit more to the sort of sails and stuff that I made. So these should be nice and firm and dry when you're adding them to your cake. You might find that you can push them into the ganache if it's not fully, fully set without having a cocktail stick in. For the ones higher up, I've got a cocktail stick in. So just make sure the recipient of your cake knows to remove these. They are edible, but obviously you'd have to remove the sticks. I've put a little bit of chocolate ganache on the back of the fish and we're going to push that in place as well. So guys, I think I finished it. I can't decide if putting candles on will ruin it or not. I've got half an hour to go get ready for the party and go. So I'm going to get ready and then decide if it needs candles or not. Okay guys, I decided on candles. Um, I realised I don't have anything to wear for a night out either. So I think I look like I'm possibly wearing my pyjamas. Right, let's get going with this. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this one and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys. If you liked the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.